All right, this is a little guide and proof of concept for getting a sound bar that'll turn on with your TV with one remote, as opposed to having to use the sound bar remote every time you want to turn on the sound bar. So I happen to have a Vizio flat screen TV. It's a couple years old. Most important is it's already got CEC technology and has an HDMI output labeled ARC, A-R-C. Second most important, just as important, you've got to buy a sound bar that also has HDMI ARC ability. If you don't have that, this isn't going to work. You're going to run your sound bar through an HDMI cable. You won't need these coaxials or optic or any of these other cables. Um, you're just going to be running it through HDMI. So what you do, out of the back of my cable box, which happens to be Google Fiber, is one HDMI out. This HDMI out is going to be plugged in to the HDMI in on the back of the sound bar. So the cable's going into the sound bar first from the back of the cable box. And then the second one is going to the HDMI out with the ARC, HDMI out to the TV with the ARC technology. So we'll plug that in. And of course, on the back of the TV, you're plugging your HDMI cable that comes out of the sound bar into the one that says HDMI ARC, not into any of your other inputs. Now for me, what you'll find, now with my, with my one remote, a couple of setup features, but I'll show you those in a second. When I turn on the TV, it's going to turn on the television, which is just firing up. It comes up a little slower because it's Google Fiber. That box is one downside of fiber, everything's a little slow. And then, so the TV's on. And the sound bar is coming on at the same time. It takes a second, searches through a few channels, and then once it settles in, now the sound bar is running. All this volume is coming from my sound bar. My TV speakers have already been turned off. So with one button, I was able to turn on the entire system, which is what I was looking for. Now, sometimes when the sound bar has been asleep for a while, it'll also turn on funny with the volume button going up or down on the remote so one remote still if it doesn't work first thing you should do is hit that volume button up but to get that to work just so you know all your sound bars in the manual will have a section telling you how to program your remote to work both the mute volume up and volume down buttons so there's the instructions on there using your sound bar remote to be able to let your TV remote control the volume up, down, and mute. So I programmed this remote using the instructions in the manual for the volume up, down, and the mute to be recognized by my soundbar. A couple other critical steps. On your TV, the CEC settings have to be turned on. So I had to go into the menu and I go down, for me it's in under settings, not under audio. And I'm gonna flip down to where it says CEC. Now CEC can be some different things on some different TVs, but on video, Vizio they actually appropriately call it CEC. I go in there and I've already enabled it, but it default might be disabled. I have the system audio control off and you're gonna have, have to hit that device discovery at least once. I've already done this, but I'm going through it again. And that's gonna go ahead and find the Google Fiber, but it's also gonna find the Vizio soundbar, which is how that ARC system's gonna make sure it's communicating. Now going back out, so for some TVs, this might be something you have to do. It, the instruction manuals say the audio is only gonna work on Dolby Digital. So I head down to Advanced Audio, and I set the digital audio out as Dolby Digital 
I don't know if that's true, but that's what the manual says, that the HDMI audio to the soundbar is only going to work through the ARC if it's Dolby Digital. I don't know. That's what they say. So now I've got a system that works all with one remote, usually with just the power button, but if the TV's been sleeping, sometimes hit the power button and hit the volume button before the sound bar will turn on. So I'll turn it off, one button click, TV turns off, Google Fiber is a little slower to respond, it turns off, the sound bar turns off with it. Same thing, one button, TV turns on, Google Fiber is following it, but it's a little slower. But as the Google Fiber turns on, like I said, it's a little slower. The TV turns on and the soundbar volume's turned on. So it works. You can do it all with one remote and only rarely have to use your TV remote and your soundbar remote. It makes life a lot nicer.